In this video, we're going to talk about intensity of wave. A progressive wave transfer energy from the source. We have been talking about this since the beginning of this topic. So now let's define what is intensity before we move on uh, to elaborate about that. Intensity basically is the rate at which the energy is transferred by the wave. So because we talk about energy transfer, right? So energy transfer, rate of energy transfer, and per unit area perpendicular to the direction of the propagation of the wave. So we can write that intensity equals to power per unit area because power is rate of energy transfer, right? So rate at which energy transfer, so power. Relationship between intensity and amplitude. So this is something that you have to uh, memorize. Uh, the amplitude of the wave is uh, is affecting the intensity. So the higher of the wave you have, then the intensity will be greater. So just imagine that there's a sea wave, then it's like a tsunami high. Okay, tsunami, you know, right? That's uh, about 10 meters and onwards high. And then uh, you can picture that this, this height of the wave would give a lot of uh, massive destruction, right? So that's because the intensity is high. It transfer a lot of energy per unit time to the area that is hitting at. So, uh, and the exact uh, relationship is that the intensity is proportional to the amplitude square, not just amplitude, but it's amplitude square. Okay. So knowing this, then we can move on to see the next thing. What is uh, the next thing that affect the intensity of a wave? So this is one yeah. So we look at one example first. So we have a wave P that has intensity I0. Okay? Second wave, uh, wave Q has the same period but the amplitude equals to 2x0. So let's try to state the uh, intensity of Q in terms of P. So we want to find intensity of Q. So what is it in terms, in terms of uh, I0? How many I0 compared to the wave P? So first of all, we know that uh, intensity is proportional to uh, amplitude square. All right. So for wave P, it is uh, x naught square. And for wave Q, is I Q. That's what we want to find. And we know that the x Q has two times, and then we square that. All right. So if we divide this. We will have I naught divided by I Q and X naught squared divided by X two X naught squared. So in that sense, we will have I Q equals to four times of the I naught because the X naught square cancel, right? So two square is four. So four times of the I naught. Its amplitude is two times greater, but its intensity is now four times greater. Okay, a lot more energy that carries by that. Huh? Let's move on. Okay, so I forgot to show the question just now. Inverse square law. So now we look at, uh, like I mentioned just now, now we look at another uh, quantities that affect this intensity. Imagine that there's a point source like a star in the, in the sky, like our, our sun in the solar system. So it emits the light to all the direction uh, in around it. Okay, as the intensity for as the distance increased intensity for that's why the the planets that is further than uh, the earth like Ju jupiter and set uh, saturn and and so on so they are a bit uh, they are a lot more further than the earth so therefore the sunlight that is received there will be uh, a lot more dimmer and uh, smaller okay so uh, how does it affect is that we need to picture that uh, the surrounding of the stars is like a perfect sphere Okay, it's the surface of a perfect sphere. So if, if we can imagine then, then the the distance right is uh, like the picture show here. As the distance increased by three times, uh, geometrically projected, the surface should increase by nine times. Okay, so if we put that into mathematics, the a will become four pi r squared, because this is the area. The area of a spherical surface area of a spherical surface okay so then if the sun remains the same okay which means its power radiated should be the same per unit time therefore 
we will have intensity proportional to the radius square. Okay, so this is the second relationship uh, of how I is affected by the quantities. So one is amplitude square, one is uh, distance square. So now we know this amplitude square and distance square. So questions sometimes link these two things, these two things together. Yeah. So let's look at one example. Suppose we have a hun uh, 1000 watt radio station. This is power. Uh, sends the power uniformly in all direction from its antenna. Find the intensity of the radio wave 10 km from the antenna. Okay, so we start off with I equals to power per unit area, power per unit area, and therefore we have 1000 as the power and 4 pi r squared. So the r we can take uh, the distance 10 km. So change into meter will be 10 to the power of 3, and then you square that and you should be able to get the answer. Okay. So these two questions will be your uh, assignment question, yeah? Okay, I'll see you in the next video.